Ah, front-end development in 2025. The path where caffeine is your fuel, bugs are your constant companion, and every victory feels like you just climbed Mount Everest, only to be greeted by another bug waiting patiently at the peak. Whether you're just starting this adventure or you're an intermediate developer stuck in JavaScript purgatory, don't worry, this roadmap is your guide. Grab that coffee, make yourself comfy, and let's begin. Picture this, the internet is like a massive city and every website is a different house. But before you can start building your dream mansion, you've got to know how the roads work, right? We're talking domain names DNS, HTTP, and HTTPS, the magic that gets your browser where it needs to go without taking a detour into Spam Alley. These are the basics. Spend a day learning them, trust me, just a day. It's like not wanting to be the person who can't figure out how to get their car out of a parking lot. Learn this first and you're ready to roll. Now let's gear up for battle. Aka your coding environment. Think of it like choosing your superhero tools. You've got VS Code, the dependable all-rounder, or WebStorm, the fancier one. Or if you want to channel your inner Tony Stark, try AI-powered editors like Cursor AI. Then grab useful extensions, prettier, because no one likes messy code and live server, no more hitting refresh a million times. Set this up in a day, two at the most, unless of course you get sidetracked scrolling through Reddit. Ready to meet HTML and CSS. These two are your dynamic duo, HTML is the skeleton it holds the structure, and CSS makes everything look amazing, the wardrobe and makeup. Think of HTML as a series of building blocks that hold things like text and images. Start with the simple stuff like P for paragraphs and IMG for images. CSS will take care of all the styling, colors, layout, positioning, and the infamous box model. Throw in some flexbox and grid to become a master of layout. You'll feel like you've unlocked cheat codes for web design. One month is all it takes to feel confident here unless, of course, you find yourself lost in an ocean of CSS tricks. Here comes JavaScript. Oh, JavaScript. This is where the website transforms from a skeleton to an alive, interactive creation. It's the magic behind form validations, dropdowns, animations, and all the little things that happen when you click something. You'll need to start by getting familiar with variables, arrays, and objects. Then dive into the DOM, the document object model. This is how JavaScript communicates with the page and says, hey button, get ready to party. Expect to spend about two months learning the ins and outs of JS. At times, you'll wonder if it's trying to be difficult on purpose, but keep going, you'll master it. Now it's time to talk version control. Let's face it, coding without it is like trying to cook spaghetti while 10 people randomly toss in ingredients. Total chaos. Git saves the day. GitHub, that's your cloud kitchen where everyone can work together without a shouting match. Spend a week getting comfortable with Git, and you'll never want to go back to the old wild west of coding. Here comes the fun part, frameworks. Frameworks are like ice cream flavors, there's Angular, Vue, Svelte. But React, that's your vanilla, the one everyone secretly craves, mostly because every job description seems to have it on their wish list. Learn about JSX, props, states, hooks, and why developers love typing use effect, even though they might forget what it does after a while. React is going to take about two months, so buckle up. It's going to be a fun ride. Once you get it, you'll feel like a front-end wizard. Want to take things to the next level? It's time to explore TypeScript. It's basically JavaScript wearing a suit, Tailwind, a CSS framework on steroids, and if you feel extra adventurous hosting. Put those websites online so they don't just stay as lonely files on your computer. Deploy on platforms like Netlify or Versal, so your creations can finally see the light of day. The road to mastering front-end development is a marathon, not a sprint. Remember to stay consistent, take it one step at a time. If you get stuck, don't be afraid to take a break, scroll through some memes and come back refreshed. Happy coding!